happy Monday. You hear Theo barking in the background. My sweet Amy is not feeling well today, so I am on my own and trust me, I miss her. <laughs> But I'm here today to show you guys the launch of a new stencil. It's called Give Us This There Daily Bread. And if you've been with us for a while, you're going to recognize it because this um, is also what was one of our transfers. And so rub on transfer and now stencil. So you can do it in any kind of surface and with any of our different mediums, which is super exciting. Um, so one of the things that we wanted to show you was just this really neat wooden plate basically I mean, it's like a serving plate it's very cool and um, we've made some other fun stuff but you guys know the drill pop on here and tell me where you're from tell me about where you're at I would love to know the weather because <laughs> we're always talking about the weather now that it's springtime um, so pop on here and tell me where you're from and then share the video and tag three friends. Um, that puts you in the drawing for this stencil. It is a 12 by 12 inch stencil. So it's a good sized stencil and we will send it to you free if you win the drawing. So all the names go in, the computer generates a winner and we send it with no cost to you at all whatsoever. So you have the opportunity to truly win a free daily bread stencil and we're excited to give it away. So tag three friends, share, that enters you. I um, just want to jump in today and really talk about the stencil. So give us this day our daily bread. We have talked about this over and over so many times, but just that steady faithfulness of the Lord to give us what we need for every day. Um, oh, I love that Vicki. Breezy and the sun is shining. Um, so just that daily walk of faith. And so we have done a bunch of little projects like this great bag. It's just a little linen bag and we use the gold gel art ink on it. Look how sweet that is. I love it. Susan from Toronto, Ohio. And then look at this one with the new Hampton blue on just a large platter. I'm loving it. And you know, we're all about Target, Walmart, the Hobby Lobby hacks. And so most of these things have been picked up at Hobby Lobby or Target or Walmart to be able to do what we're showing you to do. So today though, I do get to show you one specific project and it's super exciting. So who loves a banner? Is this not amazing? It's a linen napkin. I'm going to teach you how to dye it. And then we're going to decorate it with the gel art ink. And then you're going to see it in final process. Isn't that amazing? So great. And it's nothing huge, y'all. This is a napkin from Target. This is a dowel stick from Hobby Lobby. This is just some simple twine that we tied on there. And then you need a hot glue gun to glue it across the back. Not a hard project, but looks like a million bucks. I would have that hanging in my house in a hot minute. I love it. So I'm gonna turn this down so you can watch me work. Um, there will be a recipe card available on um, with the project so that you can see it. And all you're going to need is some Selznick Gray One Step Paint, which is a new four ounce sample containers that we have, Selznick Gray and uh, Can't Never Could, which is our black gel art ink. Gel art ink is permanent in fabric. It's a screen printing medium. So you will use a spreader and you'll spread it through the stencil, tri-mesh stencils. And then again, with gel art at any point, you are going to want to heat set it. Let it dry for two hours at least. Um, for whatever, but you want it to actually sit into the fabric and dry, and then you're gonna heat set it. You'll put another um, fabric over it just to protect your iron, um, because it is a screen printing medium, it will stick to the iron, and we don't want that to happen. So you're gonna turn your iron up to about um, 250 degrees, uh, or the cotton setting, and cover it and just Go over it like this for three to five minutes and keep that heat stable and 
all over your design and it'll set it and then you can wash in cold water and lay it flat to dry. So exciting. All right, friends. Vicki, we have samples here and then these just come in the regular size. They're a four ounce tube and they'll go forever. Um, I've been using the same tubes for months. So you really can get them to go really far with projects. It's a great question. All right, guys, I'm going to turn this down. Keep asking questions. Keep sharing. Keep sending me love because I need all the support without my partner in crime. All right, here we go. All right, so I have just a solid white linen napkin. It's square. Again, we got these at Target, and it's white, and this is what we're going to come up with. So we're going to go from white to here with the Selznick Gray One Step Paint from Amy Howard, which is super exciting. I'm going to put gloves on just so that my hands are clean to go on to step number two. I'm going to get my trusty scissors. Um, all of the One Step Paints are going to have this little... Uh, it's, it looks like paper, but it's got a plastic on either side so that it stays, but that's your little safety things. And, um, I like to cut them to get them off. And then I just have a tub of water. You're just going to want a regular tub of water that you can put the paint into. And I'm going to get a spoon. Actually, I'll just pour. We'll just pour. Look at that change. Isn't it fun? And then I'm going to stir with my gloved hands because I want the paint to intersperse all over this water. Um, you can dye fabric with the one step paints. It is a fun and easy process and they turn out so beautiful um, and it's just easy and simple. All right, so I've got that, and I know that I don't have any extra on my hands, and I'm gonna just lay this into my paint water mixture. Isn't that fun? Look at how fast it took, guys. Like, it took to the fabric so quickly. And this is like a naturally wrinkled linen fabric. So um, it keeps that fun wrinkle to it. You see how pretty that is? And it will dry just a tiny bit darker. You can also just always add a little bit more paint if you want it to be a darker color. There you have it. So easy. I can lay this um, off of... Um, a, what's it called, a drying rack, or I can lay it over um, some parchment paper on the cabinet. You'll wanna put something under it if you're gonna lay it on a hard surface, just because you don't want the paint to get on that surface. I'm gonna lay mine right here over the water that it's on and just move it over there. But you see how quick and easy it was to do that dye process. It's not hard. Um, you'd want it to dry until it's completely dry. A lot of times I will also throw mine in the dryer just to kind of set the color a bit. So I am now working with one that's already been dyed and been dried. So it is ready for my beautiful stencil. As always, these are a tri-mesh stencil. So they come on an adhesive backing there is a polymer and where you actually see the design is a mesh. We always love that mesh because it makes the sharp designs that a maker studio is known for. Now I'm placing a little bit lower to the bottom because I'm going to wrap this top around the pole. So I do want to make sure that I give myself plenty of room up here that my design is not in the top. So I'm going ahead lining it up closer to the bottom and these stencils again they're movable to get them in the positioning that you want you just pick them up and move them again 
and I'm just gonna burnish it really well to the fabric because I do want it to hang on there. Um, so I get really good adherence with my gel art. And I'm just using a scraper to push it down and burnish it and make sure I've got really good adhesion. And then, like I said before, we're simply using black. We kept it really simple. Um, you know what, y'all, that is not straight. I'm way over on one side than I am on the other and I did not even notice. Here we go, let's do this again. Let's try one more time. Got it all laid down and I didn't even have it straight. There we go, okay. Hear that scraping, it's my favorite sound. We want that sound when we're using our product because then we know we're getting through the fabric. So I am taking the Can't Never Could, which is the black gel art ink, and I'm actually gonna apply it directly to my spreader because I'm only using one color. I'm using a larger spreader because I have so much area to cover and I'm not using any other color. So I'm not worried about staying super detailed. I just wanna make sure that I get my whole surface covered. And I always like to start on the polymer and move into um, the mesh. I find that it gives me a lot less bleed when I do that. That's just a little Michelle hack. I would love to know times in life. You know, there are times when things are hard and this pandemic has been really hard on a lot of families where you truly are trusting the Lord for just every day. And um, if any of you want to share any of those seasons, I know that we would love to come alongside you here to make our studio and just know that um, you're not alone and the Lord is good. Um, sometimes we need to be reminded of that and sometimes it takes his people telling us that as well. Just know that we love you here at AMS and Amy Howard at home and we pray for you guys. We pray for our customers. We pray um, you guys are like friends and family. Amy's not kidding when she says that, when she gets all excited to see your names, um, to know that like these are people she may or may not have met, but she sees their names and she feels like she knows you all. And it's a really sweet thing. So just know that we fight for you and we pray for you. And if there's anything you need, prayer wise, let us know, because we'd love to fight for you in this um arena or just come alongside you knowing that it's been a tough season for a lot of people and we are trusting the Lord to give us everything that we need for every day and I love the reminder of this stencil just that he is my sustainer provider give us this day our daily bread and sometimes when I get more than what I need I forget who gives and I don't want to be that person either so um, just know that we really love this stencil for what it is and what it reminds us to um, sit in and understand and just believe the Lord for. All right, we have our whole stencil covered, dear friends, which means the fun part is coming. The peel off, the reveal, which is to this day my favorite part. And I've been doing these stencils for a long time. Look at this. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. So much. Look at that, beautiful friends. Detail, detail, detail. You cannot get that detail without a stencil like this. It's absolutely amazing. Okay, I'm going to set that aside and we are going to do the wash process together because I always like to show you we always have newbies and I want you to see how easy it is to care for your stencils. So Amy and I always have a bucket of water next to us 
Um, we have it on the table with us when we're working. Sometimes we don't get to wash them immediately, but if we get them in the water, it protects them. So you don't want them to sit in water for days, but you can set them in there for a few minutes and it will be just fine. And you just work the gel out of the mesh so that you can see through it again. And what that's gonna do is it opens up the mesh for the next time that you wanna use it so that you'll get the same deep detailed design the next time. Um, it's okay if the polymers died. There are heavy pigments in a lot of our chalk arts and our gel arts and our ceramic paints. That is not a problem. And then you'll pull this out and you'll lay it adhesive side up to dry on your countertop. I am actually gonna work on it a little bit more because it is so large, it's not fitting in my container. Also, you see this mess that I made? This is why we always tell you to put something under your surface when you're working with our gel art inks. All right, dear friends, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for supporting me when my partner in crime is missing. Um, just know that we love you here at AMS and it's just mm, so sweet how generous and kind he is. And so um, thank you for joining us for Daily Bread and enjoy the stencil. It is amazing and it's such a great piece that can truly be anywhere in your home and speak such a loud message to your family, to your children, to people who don't know. And so um, Dina, she's just a little under the weather, so she will be back. She just is not feeling great today, and so um, I get to be on my own. That means she trusts me, which is scary. <laughs> but I love that I get to be with you guys. It makes my heart happy. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you for liking this live and loving the stencil. It is available now on the site. Again, I used Selznick Gray in the paint to dye the um, linen that I had and I used Can't Never Could Gel Art and a chalk art spreader. And that's all that you need other than the stencil to create a project just like this. Thanks for joining me today and I will see you soon. Bye sweet friends.